Welcome back! Of course, the Oscars are this Sunday, so we are chatting about our predictions for Hollywood's big night. And look, we have even rolled out our very own red carpet here in the studio. We are dressed in all of our fanciest things. We've got a couple of us have our margaritas. Cheers to Alicia Cheers. down on the end. So on the end, we have Alicia J. Rose, a director. We have Byron Beck, an entertainment blogger here in Portland. Shilpa Suntunker, a director. And then at the end, Josh Leak from the Portland Film Festival. Welcome, guys. We keep having you back on our panel because <laughs> you are experts. You've seen way more of the movies than I have, and you always have amazing opinions. So cheers to that. So, cheers. okay. First of all, Josh, you said there's actually a local connection to this year's Oscars. Yeah, it's it's amazing. We have uh, a local connection. Sky Fitzgerald um, directed a film called Lifeboat, which is a short documentary. In fact, if you Google um, Lifeboat, you should be able to see most of it online. Oh. And uh, he's a local Portlander. Um, this is actually uh, number two, I believe, in his series of three. Um, but he's a local guy, and we're all super excited for him, and and we're all rooting for him. And, and That's it's a so great exciting. film. Beautifully uh, shot. Beautifully shot beautifully yeah. put together really heart-wrenching riveting and unflinching and a very timely uh, subject matter too. yeah that's so cool okay that's my number one pick then okay so far that's the only thing I've checked off on my <laughs> my lovely little go sky yes exactly go, go sky. sky okay so also while we are making our picks and discussing the Oscars right now at home you can vote on some trivia to see how well you know your Oscars fact. So if you go to kgw.com slash vote or go on your KGW app, you can vote right now. The first one is which person has lost the most Oscars for which she or he was nominated? John Williams, Meryl Streep, Leonardo DiCaprio, Peter O'Toole. And while you guys vote on that at home, let's talk about uh, the nominees for best actor in a leading role. Who do you guys think is going to win that one? Well, I, a lot of people think it's going to be Rami Malek, but I don't think it's going to be Rami no? Malek. I think it will definitely be Christian Bale. He'll win his mm -hmm. second Oscar. He was, so I have not seen, uh, I still need to see Bohemian Rhapsody, but I saw Vice. You think Rami? Yeah, we're voting Rami. Rami, me too. I would love to have him win. I do think you may be correct, though. Christian, Christian Bale, Bale prediction. The, the transformation for Christian Bale was much bigger than the transformation. Yeah, but the, I think the acting for Rami <laughs> was better. I mean, like, Christian put on the weight and did it, but, you know, it was pretty creepy. Yeah. Which also <laughs> seems like you to be able to just put on weight for a role. That sounds like a, a great job. It worked for De <laughs> it, wor it worked for De Niro. So. Yeah, there you go. It works for De Niro. Okay, back to our trivia question. Uh, basically, everyone is voting for Meryl Streep. A couple votes for Peter O'Toole. The winner is da, 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 John Williams, nominated 51 times. 51. And he's won five. Yeah, he's won five, but he's been nominated 51, 51 times. times. That's amazing. That's yeah. a good career. Maybe Lucky the most man. nominations ever. Who knows? Okay, the next trivia question is with no host this year. Uh, who hosted the Oscars more than anyone else? Billy Crystal, Ooh. Bob Hope, Whoopi Goldberg, or Jimmy Kimmel? What do you guys think will I happen this with this? Okay, you do know. Do you guys all know? I, mm. I think it's Bob Hope. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I think it's Bob Hope. What do you guys think is going to happen this year with no host? Is it going to be more entertaining, well, less entertaining? What's actually going to happen? Could be interesting. Some shenanigans could occur. I mean, maybe it'll be good. Joey Behar said something that Whippy might be hosting. Yeah. So Whoa. there were rumors that Whippy might be hosting. Surprise Wait, host. really? Yeah, yeah. Could, could they come do out. that? They could. They could. Would they, they really be able to keep it a secret this whole time? Uh, yeah. Well, it's, it's happened before. I think in the 80s, Rob Lowe did a musical. Uh, with Snow White. Entree. And the problem was is that everyone in the industry hated it so much <laughs> that they said you really need to have a host. So I'm, I'm kind of thinking and hoping that someone comes uh -huh. out and pulls yeah. a surprise on us. I feel like Whoopi could save it in a really good way. Yeah, yeah, she could just go right in, save it, make it happen, and we'd all be pretty stoked. No matter what, though, I'd say that people have to be a little happy about not having the host a little bit yeah. because yeah. it's going to cut out about 24 minutes of the yeah. showtime, oh. which means that it'll end quicker and, you know. <laughs> Get on with your game. Sunday night. Right. I don't know. I mean, we'll see. Would it just be like moving we'll from talking head to talking head at the microphone? And the next one. Oh, okay. And yeah. Next well, it's just <laughs> the right. actors get all the bad jokes now. Well, so the, that's pretty much what happens. Well, so. the, the Academy got so much flack this year for not wanting to um, have the, the editing, the cinematography awards. Yeah. Uh, short film. Live, the short film. And they're live. super popular. So, popular. Yeah, I mean, they are. Yeah. yeah, especially with the industry. And, you know, the Oscars 
although we all want to vote for the film that we love, we have to remember that people that are actually voting are members of the industry. Yeah. Right. So when you choose who's going to win, it's got to be, you know, what would the industry think? Right. It, for a lifeboat, it has to be people in that category can only vote for that category. Wow. So right. it's, it's and, a very and You're right. And the funny thing is uh, Sky is going against probably one of the most famous documentary filmmakers in the world, a guy by the name of Marshall Curry. He's done tons of stuff. I'm sure you've heard of him. Yeah. And he recently was in the news <laughs> for doing, uh, his documentary was, was had, had the Nazis, it was about the Nazis, and he p tried to put an ad on Fox News, and Fox told him that he couldn't put his ad for his film on, on their new, on the network, so he just got like, I mean, days of coverage uh, for his film, <laughs> so I think that it's, it's, we're all hoping for Sky. Yeah. So. yeah, Lifeboat was an incredible film and very timely about the refugee crisis in the Mediterranean and Africa and Syria. So, you know, let's hope for that. Yeah. Yes. Speaking of hope, that is actually the winner or the answer to who, who has hosted oh. the Oscars more than anyone else. And I think you guys were Googling it. We Bob gave you too hope. much time. Okay, uh, Best Picture nominees just go down the line. What do you think is going to win? Roma. Roma? I would, I'm going for the favorite myself. Favorite? I want Green Book to win. I think oh. it might. Okay, and Alicia. Favorite is my favorite. My favorite. I still need to watch that one, and we have time so before good. the Oscars this Sunday night. Cheers, guys. We'll be right back. Cheers. <laughs>